specifically with respect to the sustainable development goals, we're, our, our platform serves goal number four, which is um, providing quality education to as many people as we can reach. What happens in the platform is students are able to start writing their own stories and bring in illustrations, either their own art or they can choose from art that's already preloaded in the platform and illustrate their stories with that art and then publish it. And when it, the, their book publishes, it can then be purchased either in a digital format and downloaded to a device such as a Kindle, or it can be printed on demand and shipped to their house so they can actually hold their own book in their hands. Thank you. Well, what we're finding is um, the current educational system doesn't really meet the needs of today's world. It's very much of a knowledge push instead of a skills um, and competency enabling system. And we think allowing children an opportunity to write their own books and express themselves um, is an important way of fostering literacy and providing self-confidence and reinforcing self-worth. We think that if children are able to express themselves well and they see good things coming of it, they can start dreaming of having bigger impacts in the world. So with our platform, we actually have fairly broad goals and ambitions because we've already got kids from 19 countries around the world using our platforms to write books. And we've only been in the market for nine months, actually 10 months now. So early signs are promising. And um, we're very hopeful that we can engage kids everywhere and enable them to ex experience the joy of making their own book. Well, thank you. I am out here at the, the WISE, the Qatar Foundation's WISE Summit in Doha, Qatar, uh, which is a week-long activity focused on learning about education, where education's going, particularly ed tech. Um, and what we see um, are disruptive things happening in the education system which advances to a more competency-based requirement which I think the world is going towards rather than a knowledge push. When I was back in school perhaps as you as well, the idea was to onboard as much knowledge as you could, absorb this knowledge. It's no longer really what they need, what kids need to do. They need to learn how to collaborate. They need to figure out how to problem solve. They need to be able to communicate and express themselves. And so a lot of what we're seeing are solutions that either enable that to happen or tools that allow teachers to be able to use those in their classrooms, in their pedagogical um, delivery and enable those kinds of outcomes, which are so much more needed in the world today. Well, 50 years ITU has been out championing the need for technology in the intersection with activities that are critical for life. Um, I couldn't think of an organization that could be more helpful to a small company like ours, which is struggling, struggling to get our voice he heard. You know, imagine education is a two trillion dollar industry and trying to somehow insert ourselves this little teeny switch based company into that domain is a very difficult thing to do. Getting a voice at the table, just being heard is difficult. And, and I'm very hopeful that through this relationship with ITU Digital, which we're privileged to have now, we'll be able to, to somehow get ourselves in at that table where we think it can play a role and perhaps get a little bit of recognition and most importantly, some help in getting our platform out to the kids that need it most.